Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to create a contact form for our project. So in the previous video we learned how we can send mail. If I open the VS Code, here we get a road get in the web routes, road get contact and we send the mail. In this video I'm going to create a controller and here in the road get I'm going to show the form. And also we need to create another method for uh, sending the mail. Okay, so let's create that uh, controller first. I'm going to open here the terminal and say PHP artisan make controller and let's name it uh, contact controller. Hit enter, okay. And in the web route, I'm going to comment this and let's create another route. So let's say route get slash contact or slash contact. And here I'm going to use that contact controller. And the method is going to be show because I'm going to show the form here. And let's name it contact.show. And we need another road to post the form and send the mail. So let's copy this, duplicate and say, say a road post. Now we need post, contact. The method is going to be submit or uh, we're going to name it submit. You can name it what you want. And I'm going to name here contact.submit. Let's save it. Let's go in the contact controller and create the show and submit method. So function show. And here we need to, sh to show the form. So I'm going to say return the view i'm going to create a new view inside the contacts and i'm going to name it show okay also let's create the method submit so function uh, submit and here we need the request but let's uh, leave it for now as it is because i'm going to create a separate re request for this contact form Okay, first let's go and create this contact show blade. So inside the views, resources views, let's create a new folder and I'm going to name it contacts. And here I'm going to create a new file, name it show.blade.php. Now here I'm going to add the X guest layout. Okay, let's add a div with class max with the B7 Excel MX auto. And also I'm going to say margin top to eight. And here we need to add a form. So I'm going to say form with method to be post. Now the action is going to action is going to go to the road we created earlier. So road contacts submit. Let's close this and let's add also here the CSRF token. And we need the for contact. I'm going to add this form I have prepared name, email and message. So let's copy this and paste it here. If I save and uh, let's navigate now inside the slash contact and yeah, here it is our form. Now uh, I want to add in the input. I'm going to tape yeah. input here is for name input. I'm going to add the name 
to be name and uh, here the name to be email and the next one here is going to be message uh, content the name is going to be content let's save it here i'm going to create a set a separate uh, request so let's open the terminal and say php artisan make request and i'm going to name it contact request and because we are in the terminal let's create also the mail so php artisan make mail and i'm going to name it contact mail and i'm going to say dash dash and create a markdown mail so markdown and here i'm going to say inside the emails i want to create a contact mail hit enter a markdown okay and if i open now inside the mail we have this contact mail good inside the resources views we have the mails and we have this contact blade.php which has a component this is the markdown mail okay first let's open the request we have created so contact request change the authorize to be true and what what we need to authorize the validate here we need the name which uh, is going to be required we need the email which is going to be required as well and also is going to be email and the content let's say here content and here add required okay let's save it close this one let's go in the contact controller and add that contact request here dollar sign request okay now we have validation here in our form and here we need to send the mail but to send the mail here we need the name email and message so let's open the mail contact mail and here in the construct i'm going to say public string dollar sign name we are going to accept the name to expect the name the email and the content so let's say also public string dollar sign email and public string dollar sign contact okay now here we return the markdown this uh, emails contact blade and because we added the name email and content in the contact blade here i'm going to say in, in the introduction i'm going to say uh, contact from and display the name because we have access to the name because we expect here and make this public here is going to be the content so let's say dollar sign content uh, sorry in double curly braces dollar sign content now if you want to add the url uh, 
a button here. Okay, thanks from the name config app name. So what we have in the .env file, I name it essential and here is going to be essential. Thanks and then essential. And let's say I want to add the button here to say visit us and let's add the URL or URL, which is this URL. Let's copy here and paste it. Okay. If I save now, uh, this is not going to work because he's uh, not going to need to be intended. And, uh, but let's leave for now. Now in the content mail, contact mail, sorry. Here, I'm going to say, instead of just rendering this contact blade, I'm going to say mail dollar, dollar sign this, and I'm going to add the subject. Okay, and here I'm going to say uh, contact from essential.com or dot test. Okay, and I'm going to say reply to the email we have here. So dollar sign this email. And now add the markdown. Okay. Let's save it. Now we have done the contact mail, also the contact blade in the contact controller now. When we say submit, here I'm going to say mail the same thing we have done in the previous video so mail to this one and send and give it the mail so let's say mail and we need to import that so mail import the facade to the my mail so let's say just my mail dot com because it's going to come to the my mail and now let's say send new and contact mail and here now we need to add the name, email and the content. Okay, and the name in email and content is going to come from the request. So let's say dollar sign request name dollar sign request email and also dollar sign request content okay after that i'm going to return to the road uh, welcome i'm going to return to the welcome page if i save and let's go and try so in the contact refresh first, in the mytrap.io, I don't have any mail right now, so it's empty. Let's say admin, email is going to be admin at admin.com and let's say first contact from essential.test, let's say submit, okay, and we redirect to the essential.test. If I come here, we have an email contact from essential.test, which is the uh, subject we added. Okay, contact from essential.test. Here is the subject. And here we have the essential, which is the app name we have in the .env file here we have contact from admin we added in the so if i go in the emails contact blade contact from the name 
the contact from admin. We added the name ad admin and here is the name. And here we say first contact from essential.test. This is the table because we don't we indented this the VS Code intended and we don't need to indent that. And here we have visit us, which is this button here, and it's going to return us to the essential.test. So if I click here, yeah, it's going to send us to the essential test. Okay, friends, that's it how we can make a contact form in uh, Laravel. So let's say name uh, John Doe. Email is going to be John Doe.com and message from John Doe. Click submit again. It's going to take some time. And if I come here, we have a contact from Essential. And here is contact from John Doe and message from John Doe. Okay. Okay, friends, I hope you understand. If you like a content like this, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and see you in the next one, friends. All the best. Thank you very much.